it's uh, New York City Reloader again. I want to take a moment to uh, show you how I test my lead. I've got a couple of different uh, options and methods of testing it. Uh, first one being a Lee um, lead hardness tester, and then I have some Stutler pencils. So I want to show you both of those and how I go about uh, testing my lead, and uh, that way you can see how I do it. As I mentioned, I have two methods that I use. I obviously use the Lee a hardness testing kit, and I'll go over how that works in a moment. Uh, and then I have these uh, Stedler pencils, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and I'll show you how I use it to test uh, these three ingots that I've made. So uh, we can check My first out. method is using these Stedler pencils that you can buy at any Home Depot or Staples. You'll notice they have a corresponding value to each one of them. As I roll through them, you can see that there's letters on those. And uh, if you go online, you'll be able to find this nice little chart here that talks about what the hardness of each pencil is and what it represents in BHN. So a regular standard lead, pure lead, uh, would be a 6B, which would be the first pen in this kit, pencil in this kit. Uh, and then it would be about a 4 to 5 BHN, followed by a 5B, 7 to 8, 4B, 3B, 2B, B, H, B, F, H, and 2H. And look at that, I've got 2020 vision. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how these pencils work, testing the lead. And uh, let me go ahead and show you by picking one of them up. So I've gone ahead and grabbed my B pencil, which you probably can't focus on here. Let's see. It's a B. Can you trust me? I wouldn't lie to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the lead, and I'm going to attempt to uh, groove the lead. And I can draw on it, but I'm not able to scratch it. It's just not scratching the lead. It's just too, too hard. It's a BHN 18. So I'm going to have to go ahead and get a corresponding pencil because I know this is BHN 18 because I've tested it before and BHN 18 is a F pencil so I'm going to go ahead and grab the F pencil from my kit there we go this one is F and I'm going to use that and I want to go ahead and draw and make a scratch in the lid and there you go I made a nice little scratch you can actually feel the scratch there it's not just drawing on it so uh, if I grab uh, one lower, which I did a moment ago, which is like a B or an HB, neither one of those will scratch this lid. The first one that scratches it and gouges into it is uh, the F, which uh, means it's a BHN 16 to 18. And I've tested it on the uh, Lee Hardness, and it turned out to be BHN 18. So I'm pretty comfortable with this one being BHN 18. So I'll take this one and put it to the side. The next one is um, some monotype lead and it's very very hard and I'm gonna go get my 2H pencil and I'm going to go ahead and scratch it and draw into it and let's see there you go I was able to go ahead and gouge it with the 2H pencil I'm not able to scratch it with any other pencil other than the 3H and the 4H which also come in this particular kit, but 26 to 28 BHN, I'm pretty much happy with. So what I would do is take that ingot now, and I would go ahead and mark it down as uh, 26 to 28 BHN, and that one to the side. This one is standard lead, and uh, I know that standard lead is about 6B. So I'm going to go to my pencil kit again, and I'm going to grab my pencil that is 6B, because I know this is kind of pure lead. But again, when you're at a flea market, garage sale, and you find some lead, and you really want to test it, this is a good method to go ahead and test it. And again, you can see that I put a nice gouge in the, uh, let's see if I can get closer here. You can see I put a nice gouge in the lead itself. So this is the softest pencil that I've got. And uh, it's the standard lead, it's 6B, it's a little backwards. It's uh, 6B. And uh, that way I know that that particular lead is 6B. So I would go ahead and write that on the end. I usually write that right here, BHN. And I would put in like uh, 4 or 5. And that way I would know it's 4-5. And I'll go ahead and add that to my stack over there. I have another method of testing them besides these pencils. And again, um, this graph or chart you can get. Uh, I'll hold it up there so you can see it. That's the chart. You can actually screen snapshot if you wanted to. I'm going to close these pencils up for now. And I'm going to talk about my Lee Hardness tester. And let me set up my... Okay, this is my Lee Hardness testing kit. I'm going to open it up. It's not always the easiest thing to open. Okay, and put that to the side. I'm going to need this documentation in a minute, but let me show you what it is. 
So <clears throat> you can take this right to your single stage press and what you want to do is trim your bullet and flatten it with a file and you'll essentially put this in your press and put the bullet on top. <clears throat> then this die goes into your press and uh, what you do is you take this, it's got a little ball on the end of it and that ball is going to put a specific amount of force on it from your press and based on that dimple that's there you'll be able to go to the chart that's in there and uh, read it with this little provided microscope which obviously there's no way I'm going to be able to show you uh, what it looks like inside of there but uh, you would check to see the dimple that it created on your lead and you'd measure with this inside this there's a gauge and that'll give you a number of what the lead hardness is and then what you do is you read this manual <clears throat> and the manual will tell you what the dimple represents so when you get the value from the dimple then you can go ahead and read and see what VHN your lead is so let's open this up carefully so I've torn it already pretty good myself and so based on the little graph that you see and it shows you a little uh, example of how it's mounted in your press and how you put the, the, the bullet in there or the piece of lead and you file it down and then over here you can see that this is what you're going to see within your microscope and based on how much it pushes that dimple into your lead will tell you how soft or hard your lead is then you take that value when you measure it across in the microscope and you take that value right here to the chart and it will tell you so for instance if i got a 0.38 diameter that tells me that my lead is 36.6 percent b you know bhn um then if you go over here to the right you can see it's 8.0 bhn and so forth so i go down the list based on that diameter of how how big that circle is will tell you what your bhn is and uh in comparison to what i've shown you on the stadler pencils i found that the stadler pencils are right on the money so if uh you know while you while i do have this nice kit i pretty much trust my pencils and obviously it goes a lot quicker than having to take this kit out and mount it on the press if i had another press maybe i'll buy another partner press or something like that and what i'll do with that one is i'll leave this connected full time and that might be a good option for me to be able to quickly test rather than having to break it down each time and then uh either way but i would suggest uh if you need to test your lead uh go ahead and get one of these hardness uh tests they're really cheap on amazon uh it's a good value it works uh, again uh that's one method my preferred method is the Stadler pencils and you can get them at uh, Office Max, Office Depot. You can get them at Staples. Uh, they're actually called Mars Lumograph pencils, but they're made by this company called Stadler. And they're probably about seven or eight dollars. So I have uh, always have a box of these in my truck. Uh, throw a box in my knapsack, and I usually have one or two uh, of these these here. I give it out to my reloader friends sometimes as gifts. So two good methods to use and uh, I would tell you that uh, neither method is necessarily better than the other. I would say that the Lee is far more accurate but uh, if you're looking to get uh, your hardness value you can click quickly and easily get it from these pencils. When I'm casting I'll go ahead and cast a small ingot and then I'll go ahead and test it and I'll know my BHN when I'm mixing. Um, obviously if I got something like this super hard alloy that I get from Roto Metals and I were going to test that the BHN is off the chart. So I couldn't test the super hard with the Stadler pencils. And I couldn't test it with the Lee hardness uh, meter either. Because uh, neither would scratch it, neither would dent it. It's like super lead. All right. Well, that's all I have to say about these pencils. If you have any questions, just uh, go ahead and give me some comments. And I'd be glad to answer any that you might have regarding lead hardness. Thanks. I'd also ask you guys who uh, watch my videos, if you could do me a favor and please subscribe. And uh, if you're on another website or another YouTube uh, page, uh, do me a favor and give me a shout out. It uh, helps bring some traffic to my site. And I got a lot of videos I want to work on, but I don't want to work on them if nobody's going to watch them. All right, well, have a great holiday. Talk to you. Bye.